Hello and welcome to Network Nuts. This is Aryan Shwasava and today I'm going to show you how you can create users from a CSV file on multiple servers using Ansible. It's a very interesting thing because as per my experience, I see a lot of people and a lot of organizations working with CSV files. And in my experience as a trainer, I have seen a lot of students ask me how they can import content from a CSV file into an Ansible playbook. And that is what I'm going to show you today. With me, I have a simple CSV file. Let me show you the file. This is the CSV file. Username.csv. It contains four fields. Username, identifier, first name and last name. What we need to do is, we need to create 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 users from this CSV file in the username field. The first thing that we need to understand is, how do we read the content of the CSV file using Ansible and then extract the values of the username field. So, we'll start writing our playbook. We'll call it user underscore create underscore csv dot eml so create users from csv file host all task will first become true because you cannot create the user from a normal user task hyphen name reading the csv file the module we are going to use is, a, is known as a read underscore csv module. Uh, we'll give the file name with a username dot csv. Let me just confirm the file name. It is username dot csv with the lower case u. So let me fix this. We are going to register this with the variable user underscore list. And we are also going to run this on the local host. So delegate underscore two localhost because we don't want to read the content on the other machines just on the local host then let's display the content so display user underscore list data debug module and we'll use the message parameter and pass an user underscore list let's run this playbook unsupported parameter okay the parameter is path it's not file so it is very important for us to read the documentation before we make a mistake and we'll run it again and here we have the content so as you can see the values are appearing as a list and this list contains the key and value pair so it is a list the pair of fade brackets indicate that it is a list and the pair of curly brackets indicate that this is a dictionary. It is a list which contains multiple dictionaries which contain the key and value pair. Again, the key that you are looking for is username. You are not looking for first name, last name, identifier. You are looking for the username. So how do we extract this username value? We will go back to our playbook. And the sub variable was dot list. So let me just change it a little. And I'll put here dot list. So this contains the list of the dictionaries. Then we'll uh, let's say let's say let's say print dictionaries. I'll use the debug module again. But this time in the message parameter, I will use item because it's a list which contains multiple dictionaries and Ansible uses a loop to work with multiple values or what you call a list. So loop and the list is user underscore list dot list. User underscore list is the main variable and dot list is the sub variable. Ansible hyphen playbook user underscore create underscore csv dot eml. And here you have the key is and value pairs inside the item variable. 
the value that I want is Smith 79, Jenkins 46, Johnson 81, which belong to the key username. So what will I do? I will simply write here dot username. Run it again. And the values have been extracted. The values appear twice because they are running on two sets of machine. Now we want to create these users. The task is very simple. Create users from the CSV. We'll use a user module. Name is going to be item dot username as per the above task. State is going to be present. It is very important to give the state parameter. Makes it clear as to what are you trying to do. Loop user underscore list dot list. And then we'll run this playbook. And simple have some playbook. User underscore create underscore csv dot eml. And the particular users are getting created as you can see. We'll open a new tab. SSH to one of these machines. Do a tail of etc password. And I can see that the particular users that I wanted have been created. Using the same idea, you can also use the identifier field to provide them a UID or the first name field to provide a comment or any field for any requirement that you have. Let me open the playbook again for you. This is a playbook. Please feel free to take a screenshot. Now you know how it works. And I hope this helps you in your Ansible journey. Take care. Stay inside. Stay safe.